Good morning. Uh, welcome to morning prayer from St Andrews, Horton Le School in, in Darlington in the UK. Um, I'm glad you could join us this morning. Um, it's a beautiful morning out there. I'm looking forward to my run in a little while. Those that know me know I like to get out and do my runs on a morning. So I'm looking forward to, to doing that. But let's give this day to God first. I'll be using the um, morning prayer from the Church of England, uh, either the website or the app, uh, just so we can uh, follow along. Um, and I'll be using the readings from that. So I'll be using Psalm 150 and I'll be using the reading from Luke chapter 6. It's in there. So let's begin. Let's give this day to God. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, for you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. We'll say these words from Corinthians and Romans together. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. So let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old unleavened of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying he died to sin once for all. In living he lives to God. See yourselves therefore as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man he came death, as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Let's say the glory together. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Let's bring to God those things that we plan to do today. Those things that maybe we're looking forward to, maybe we're not looking forward to. And give them to God in these few minutes. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. I'm going to say Psalm 150. Um, this is one I've got to make sure I say and don't burst out into song. Maybe you want to sing along. It's Psalm 150, and the refrain, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia, O oh, praise God in his holiness, praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for mighty acts, praise him according to his excellent greatness. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise him with blast of the trumpet. Praise him upon, upon the harp and lyre. Praise him with the timbrel and dancers. Praise him upon the strings and pipe. They say, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise him with the ringing cymbals. Praise him upon the clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. 
God of life and love, whose Son was victorious over sin and death, make us alive with his life, that the whole world may resound with your praise through Jesus Christ our Lord. Say glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And we move to our scripture reading, um, which is Luke uh, chapter 6, verses 12 to 26. Now during those days he went out to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When the day came, he called his disciples and chose twelve of them, whom he also named apostles. Simon, who he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, and James and John and Philip, and Bartholomew and Matthew and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon, who was called the Zealot, and Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea, Jerusalem, and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. They had come to hear him and be healed of their diseases, and those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came out from him and healed all of them. Then he looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice on that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven. For what is that? For that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. All right, very strong words there. And, uh, some of the things that really amazed me from the, that, that time is the, the, amount, the distances that people travelled um, to see Jesus from all of Judea, from Jerusalem, from the coast. It's, Israel's a small country, but that's still some distance, you know, it's kind of 50, 100 miles of uh, traveling to go and see somebody. It's uh, quite an amazing thing. And his message to them is clearly very controversial at that time. Yeah. Feel blessed when people hate you. I mean, that's a very, very difficult thing to do. But your reward is great in heaven. There's words to hang on to there. We'll move to the canticle. So we say, The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who has come to his people to set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet in the way of peace. We say glory to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord has risen from the tomb, for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Come into a time of prayer. <clears throat> so we'll, I'll say some short prayers and leave spaces for you to you know, say out loud or thinking with your heart what you want to bring to the Lord. So let's pray. Father, we think of the things we need to do today. We think of what we've planned. We think of whether we're going to help, offer help to people or to others. We just bring those things to you, Lord. Father, we bring to you all those who are, are suffering, either directly through illness or indirectly because of illness of family or friends. We especially think of those who have family who are far from them who are ill and they can't go and see them. Bless your blessing upon those. Bless for healing, for comfort. We pray for those caring for people who are ill. We pray for our healthcare staff, the NHS staff, the emergency services, the key workers in, in all kinds of areas, the shops, the farms, schools, key businesses, public transport. The, the list goes on and on. Can we keep those people safe? Father, we ask for wisdom for world leaders and for the leading scientists on, on this, giving advice. We pray that they you give them wisdom to be able to discern what the best route is. And we ask that you give politicians the ears to hear, that they can discern what is right for the, for the people. And we say the collect for today. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Lord Jesus, have overcome death and opened us to the gate of everlasting life, grant that, as by your grace going before us, you've put in your into our minds good desires, so that by your continual help we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Son, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let's bring those prayers together with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. So I thank you for joining me this morning given this day over. Uh, don't forget evening prayers at seven o'clock tonight. 
and then tomorrow morning is our morning service where we'll be looking at blessings around the parish and you can learn all about what rogation means so hope you can join us then and now take care god bless speak to you soon bye